We're getting ready to head out on the RS660. Welcome back, you guys. Bogdan's out on the V2. We'll get out on it um, probably at one session. Actually, I don't know. She just said that she doesn't. <laughs> Alex, it's the, the compound, uh, and it's just been great great day so far. Uh, hopefully, now we've been uh, one session out on the RS660, and uh, it didn't go as planned as well as I would like it to have the uh, I don't know it was really running a little weird so uh, let's hope for the best now if you guys are uh, new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button smash the like button and then ring the bell notification because that's gonna give you notification of future content because we're here at the track we've got three of our four of our bikes and uh, yeah so we're uh, gonna have a little bit of track content for you guys in the next week so stay tuned but if you guys uh, saw the last video, uh, you know that I had some problems on the bike. I also was having some turning issues with the bike. This is a tighter, more technical track. So I took this over to Dave Moss and he clickety clicked it and uh, got, me, got me turning just a little bit faster. So let's uh, get out here in the B group and uh, let's hope for the best. All right, you guys, well, here we go. We're off on our little warm up lap. See if this bike is turning a little bit better for us here at Thunder Hill West. Stay to the right here. And uh, get into all right so let's see well it feels like the bike's running a little bit better oh we're turning way better way better Dave Moss thank you so much All right, remember we're on our warm-up lap. So one of my least favorite corners. We're turning all right. Get this side of the tire warm. So we clearly have a C grouper in the wrong group. See if we can get by this guy. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. All right. So we're back into things. Yeah, bike definitely feels so much better. All right, let's get through here. Much better. So this is one turn that a lot of people misread. See, see how he's turning and he's like turning and turning and straight track, straight track. All right, so let's uh, pass him. into things all right now we're firing on all cylinders you guys all right so we're down in first only because I need the drive out of this corner
Red flag, red flag, red flag. So red flag here in Thunder Hill is stop on track. Now I know a lot of you guys are beyond yourself right now that people are stopped on track, but uh, so we have some type of incident. Now, obviously we didn't hit anything. Everyone seems to be looking over in turn two. So, um, forgot that I'm not, I'm not an instructor. <laughs> get back on your bike, get back on your bike. We're not supposed to be off our bikes. So, um, medical, it will roll out as soon as, as soon as, uh, the, the track is cleared. Now, I personally, I like this format only because it allows medical to get to the incident faster if we stop on track than if we clear the track. Now, a button willow, when a red flag comes out, everyone has to clear the track. So it could be two minutes before the ambulance can go out and run, you know, run for the medical call. So uh, I, I really like this format. Personally, I think that this is the way it should be if it's done safe. Um, you know, it does suck in the summer here because it's 100 degrees and we're sitting here and it's, you know, we're on a, all on a hot bikes and everything. But uh, on the flip side, you know, it's a, it's a better, I don't know, I, I, I think it's a better format. So um, it's interesting that we haven't seen the ambulance roll out. So let's hope for the best medical wise because the ambulance is right there so uh let's hope for the best and uh we'll bring you guys back here when uh, we get going again is we have an all clear to head back out on track but it is a yellow flag black flag yellow flag black flag means that uh, we have to clear the track so they're gonna let us get off the track and of course we're <laughs> we just passed track entrance so uh, we'll see the incidents here in a second hopefully it's nothing major um, I'm assuming it's going to be some type of oil leak so black flag yellow flag use caution and it is the end of the session so we've got a quick one looks like we have a rider up on the hill Yep, we got a we got a crashy crash. Nope, oh, two bike crash. All right, all right, you guys. Well, here we are. Um, a little eye candy for you. The Triumph 675. Of our friends stopped by, and uh, so we are just actually after lunch. The red flag uh, resulted in, in an unfortunate uh, helicopter ride for little Timmy, which, which I know Timmy. Uh, hope you're feeling all right, buddy. Uh, went off on the hill and then uh, just got, got knocked a little bit cold. So uh, precautionary, they took him to the, uh, took him to the hospital in the heli. So we're gonna be out actually in the A group Step it up a little bit, home camp right there. And uh, running with the fast guys today, this session, so. Get a little heat in this, get our little one warm up lap. <laughs> Which, which is what all we got last time. This guy, get in here, blend. <laughs> Look who we have here. All right, hold on, don't blend yet, don't blend yet. I got it, all right. So, Christian's been eyeing, eyeing this bike. And uh, I told him the other day, I'm thinking about selling it. And he, uh, was like, huh? Okay. Now's not the time. 
So I think he just saw, he just, he just kicked it up a notch. Come on, slow down for me. I'm on the warm up lap. So he, uh, he let me know that he was interested in this thing when I first bought it and said, if you sell it, I'm the first phone call you make, okay? <laughs> so I called him the other day and was like, hey, uh, what do you think? And so he, uh, he's thinking about it. Um, so with that being said, what, what's this talk about me selling this thing already? Well, I don't know. I think there might be another bike in the future. Probably stay in third. Uh, there might be another bike in the future. So, um, I've got some personal things kind of coming up that uh, I may not I may not have a Pruya in my garage for a little while coming up. But we'll, we'll talk about that in the future. So let's get into this and uh, a little concentration. See if I can get on Christian a little bit and film him and run with him for a minute. in the A group. Yeah, I don't think I want to be shifting into second. I can probably keep it in third. Leader bikes just eat me up. <laughs> Shifting, no shifting. Better control.
Yeah, see, I don't have anything. Well, that's 6,000, so it's like tough to come out of that corner in second. Same thing here. Yeah, I got nothing. You know, some of these guys are... That's a red flag right there. He's out. He's out, and I just want to make sure he's okay. You okay? Here you go. Come in. Come in. You okay? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Deeper breath. Try to take deeper breath. Breathe. Deeper breaths. Deeper breaths. Deeper breaths. Little deeper breaths. Deep, deep, deep. Well, that resulted in the end of our session again with another red flag. Unfortunately, this gentleman and another gentleman got into each other and uh, resulted in this guy being taken off in the helicopter. Uh, hopefully he comes to a speedy recovery, but uh, it was just definitely an unfortunate event. And once I got into the paddock, uh, it was almost the end of my day, but I decided to go ahead and pick up and get on the 300s and ride the 300s the rest of the day. So this was the final video for the RS660. But uh, again, hopefully the guy comes out with a speedy recovery. He was, uh, he was pretty injured um, and yeah, just kind of sucks. But these things do happen at the track. But one thing we can always remember is let's ride safe. Let's ride our own ride and let's try to do everything we can for other people on track to make sure that this doesn't happen. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I uh, appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And um, we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.